Hey guys, Lost here, and welcome to another episode of Lucky Block Survival here on the channel today. Now, this video in particular took a little bit longer to set up than I originally planned because I set up our second trader today, and also I was setting him up for some reason. The world froze my computer and hasn't done that in a hot minute, so I was kind of like, huh, wonder, the, wonder why the computer froze, and it like took like 30 minutes to like fix itself. So now, because of that, now our other videos have to be teensy weensy bit shorter. We have two more videos that I'm pre-recording after this, but for you guys, there's gonna be one more video later on to that's gonna be our Lucky Block Survival Craft series, and then tomorrow will be our Pixelmon series. And I did mention that our Pixelmon series will have a teensy weensy bit of a giveaway happening in that in that series so if you want to tune in and check that out definitely do so but that being said guys um i guess let's get right into it today we are fighting against the king spider from the twilight forest mod i didn't even know this mob existed until i checked it out today it must be a 1.12 mob not entirely sure but it's basically a like a the skeleton druid guy the uh the guy with the golden hoe in twilight forest it's him riding a bigger spider. It's pretty crazy, and we're gonna be fighting him today. And the combat such a force, we have a crab and table, iron pickaxe, and five bread, and also time to look at our trades. If you guys have been enjoying the series, though, do click that like button, share support. I would love to see 10 likes on this video. If you guys can pull that off, I will guarantee the series continues on to next week. Also, um, comment down below what you'd like to see me fight next in the arena. Moving on, however, Alex, your trade today for a beacon, we have the Melachite sword fire aspect to sharpness four and it does 10.5 attack damage for a dragon or nether star we have the spinal sword does looting three unbreaking three and nine attack damage for the normal diamond trades we have exploding tnt set i kind of liked when i was wearing the youtuber set last week so i figured i'd wear another one this week so we got exploding tnt for five emeralds we will have the omega lucky potion that's right the omega lucky blocks are now um implemented into the series so for 10 emeralds why not have an Omega Lucky Block, you know? Just in case that isn't selected today in our little thing. You might notice the setup has changed. It took me forever to figure out how to do this. But uh, st now, now we have our new villager, Steve. That is right. Steve is the next villager. Um, it was honestly between that and I forget what the second name was commented down. I literally put it into a random number generator 1 to 2. Had to pick a number from 1 to 2 and that was what name was chosen. So Steve is now our new villager. And for his traits today, I just realized I got them backwards. I'm just gonna if I, mm, uh this is awkward here wait a minute let me just quickly Steve I'm sorry I do this to you uh this isn't really Steve this is evil brother uh Eve anyway uh I just have to really quickly rearrange these it seems uh give me a second here wait let me just check is this oh I did do it backwards okay let me grab one of Steve's uh clones there we go. Okay, for a dot iron ingot, we will have one clownfish. For four gold ingots, we will have one raw meef. And for three diamonds, we will get meef stroganoff. So essentially, this trader right now is going to be a food-based trader. So at any point in time we ever need food, I will be able to just simply go over here and get food. However, it is expensive for the food. And it's really just as a last resort if we don't get any food. So that's really all his use is currently is for food. I might in the future do other themes with him other than food. But right now, Steve is a food trader. Um, it was highly suggested by you guys, and well, now it's a thing. So moving onward to our lucky blocks. As you guys can see now, we have six lucky blocks being Omega, one of them, but it is still randomly selected. So the lucky block we're going to use today is the normal generic lucky block, which I'm okay with because that means there's a chance we can actually get um, enough resources to to actually uh, afford everything today. So hopefully, let's get this started. And we're starting off with the iron trade. So let's just wear the iron armor right off the bat. We're honestly probably not going to have any use for any other point. I love it. Explosions right off the bat. Uh, we got an enchanted hero's bow with actually pretty good decent enchants on it. Uh, well, there's your problem. No, that's your problem. TNT... We got uh, the the normal crazy trades right there. We got pumpkins. Uh, very interesting. The hero villager, actually, with some nice hero's potions. If we can afford that, that would be really good. Mr. Rainbows. I might feel like slaughtering you later if we don't have food. All right. Well, give me something good. Sorry, Mr. Rainbow. Brought this upon yourself, but he did just give me a lot of food. So thanks, for Mr. Rainbow. I knew I could count on you for your food. Wait, I need actually more of this food. There we go. Awesome. That actually gave us seven food. Uh, ooh. All right, I'll 
take this just it's probably quicker for me just to do this. Do that, do that, do that. Holy crap, God, Notch Apples too? Okay, I'll take them. Remember when they used to be called God Apples? I remember that. People still call them God Apples, I wonder. I don't know. Comment down below if you still call the uh, Notch Apple a God Apple. Or, okay, how about this? What do you call this apple? Enchanted Golden Apple, God Apple, Gapple, or uh, Notch Apple? I prefer Notch Apple just because, um, I don't know. Oh, lava. You, you, you hate to see the lava. Like, you just hate to see it. But has anyone noticed that catchphrase picking up in, in the YouTube community recently? A lot of people have been saying that. Like, you hate to see it. I, I, I don't get it, really, and why that's come up so frequently. But, I mean, sure, why not? It's a decent catchphrase. Uh, gold tools don't really need. Now we got more iron tools, or iron gear, I should say. I'm just formulating some armor right now. Mandatory. Oh, one's lucky, one is not. Well, first, let's take the fiosh. All right, open, delete that block. Hopefully, it's good. Hero villager, will you survive this? Nope. Run, hero villager, run! Steve, Alex, avert your eyes. They're, they're having a conversation with one another. They, they could care less. All right, we got some more hero stuff. Honestly, not too shabby. What's better? This is better. Don't really care for that, then. Uh, potions. What do we actually have? I never really look at these. Invisibility. Luck. I'm going to keep that. Instant health. Instant damage. Take that extra food. Um, I'm going to drink this luck potion because I believe this actually will help with the lucky blocks. Hopefully. Cake. Okay, I'll take the cake. Uh, enchanted diamond sword. What we got here? Eight attack damage, but I mean, that's about the same amount as we began for the trade today. We got some apples. Okay. Ow. Well, there goes my luck enchant. Yeah, see, so theoretically, had the luck potion is supposed, or the luck enchant is supposed to, the luck potion effect. How it's supposed to work is anything that would involve a, uh, a, ru a like, table roulette spin, essentially. Uh, for code is influenced by that so like luck luck two luck three it's kind of like you're increasing the chance of something happening that's good so like if your chance of a let's say a dog here dropping 10 iron ink why is that there what is that why is there a cup of coffee i don't know for the, for the chance of a donkey dropping a diamond let's say it's like a 0.5 percent chance if you have drink a luck potion it might be like a 0.6 percent chance you know but that's really all the luck potion does <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing or not, but here, I'm going to grab these. What are the unlucky ones? Unlucky ones I'm not even going to waste my time with. Good luck. Give me some good. All right, they did give the food. Awesome. Really, I'm only in it for the food. Uh, so, yeah, get rid of the cookies. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this, this, this. Yeah, honestly, as long as we have the food, we're good. Um, but two lucky blocks left. Pufferfish and lucky bow. All right. Very interesting. We didn't really get that much today. Most of it was explosions. But I'll take it. Uh, hmm. Now realizing that... Here, let me get rid of this. Let me put on my gear. So this is actually the gear we're going to have to be rocking today. Because we only got three diamonds. We can't afford anything, right? Yeah. Ooh. It's been a while since something like this has happened. We can afford food, however. So let's go over to Steve. Uh, Steve, we can actually afford one meat strong enough, so let's do that. We can afford a ton of raw meat, three to be exact, and iron will, will be yielded 22 clownfish. So, actually not too shabby. Um, I'm actually going to keep this in case we actually do need the replacement gear in the middle of the arena fight today. It could happen, who knows. Um... Again, a lot of food, real lot of food. I'm going to keep the uh, potions and all that with me. I'm not going to need these. Uh, yeah, cake, honestly, don't really need lapis, no. Rest is only food. All right, I think it's about time we head into this arena today and see what we actually are getting ourselves up against. It's been a while since I've not been fully geared, but uh, I think it's only best that we take this thing on. I'm going to set it to nighttime just because it's a spider we're fighting, so I'm assuming it has to be a dark presence for it to fight me um i guess let's load up our food supply so start things off with a melon move on to a cookie then a pumpkin pie and yes i like doing things that basic all right let's do this round one if you haven't done so already click that like button and let's do this oh hello there hello there spider 
Fighting spider. Fighting. Ooh. Ooh, the druid's already. Ow. Ow. Poison. Bad druid. Bad. Bad. I didn't expect you would do that. Okay, so let me just organize really quickly since I'm already taking poison damage. Um, So he's going to be dropping torch berries, string, and bones. Just so I have like a little area that I can collect the items. Uh, how are we doing food? Oh, already ate half it. Okay, per perfect. Uh, potato. And we'll see what the clownfish gets us in life. Moving on, however. Uh, did I just... <sighs> there we go. Moving on. Round two. One, two, and let's do it. Alright, I actually think they can hit one another. Yeah, the skeleton druids are actually fighting one another right now, which is hilarious. So, so it looks like they don't actually control their spider pilots. Yeah, they're they're fighting each other right now. How cute. Alright, I just want to just hit them one by one. So they both burn to death. Oh my gosh, I just realized what they're actually doing. They're turning the area into leaves. Those monsters. I didn't realize we got spider eyes also on the menu. Um, but so far so good. All right, moving on to round three. Let's do it. One, two, three. All right, let's do, let's do this. And since these guys aren't considered bosses, we are actually going to have to fight up to 20 of them at a time. All right, so they're already after one another again. All right, killed him. See, as long as this dude's on his, uh, ow. So, okay, so any other point in time, you change the world to leaves. But when you touch me, oh, that means poison. Um, how are we doing? Yep, we are consuming food. I can actually put the meat strong enough in there, which I'm going to do. Why not? Um, yeah, it's looking pretty crazy right now. I don't know how long I'll be able to survive this, but let's move on to round five. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, it's already getting pretty hectic. All right, eat, 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 eat. Notch apple. Yeah, I was going to say, we're actually getting taken a lot of damage. That's pretty crazy. I wouldn't have had time to drink a health potion or else I would have. Well, some of the ground is starting to, to get destroyed as well. Alright, on to just the uh, skeleton druids. And there's one left. Ow, ow. Come on. There we go. Alright, that's what I like to see. I think what's happening is that it's getting placed and then it's decaying. Yeah, that, that looks to be the case. Awkward. Okay, uh, moving on to the next round. Uh, round six. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's go. I mean, as long as they hit each other, I guess that helps, but it'd still be pretty crazy in a situation. I need to drink the potion of health. Save me, potion of healing. Alright, that didn't seem to help me at all. I think I immediately took that potion and it just hit me back down again. Back. No, bad. Back. Our need to eat a golden apple. Perfect. Made the golden apple. Why do you get so much instant health back? Huh. Interesting. Alright, and one more to go. Alright, let's go straight to round seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, can we get a normal skeleton? Yeah, I think we did. That's interesting. So I'm guessing. Uh, the world decided it wanted to, uh, when my video finished, uh, rendering, it decided to kick me out. I thought that was only a thing in, uh, 1.7.10, but apparently it isn't, because we're on 1.12. At the moment I am positive, there's a chance I'm gonna die because of that. Let's actually see what happens, and... Go! Eat, 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 eat. No! I tried to eat that so quickly! I'm gonna blame my own video rendering at, uh, over that little thing there. I mean... I actually got a wooden hoe. But what I was saying right before that happened... Wow, my helmet, though. What I was saying right before that happened was... Uh, the interesting thing was some of the skeletons were spawning with just normal bows. Meaning that I think how that meat works is then it's the, it's a spider-based mod that I'm spawning, not the skeleton druid-based. So what's happening is the spider's actually triggering a spider jockey to spawn. Because if you didn't know, spiders are what trigger spider jockeys, not skeletons. So like if you spam a spawn egg of spider... That's where you get the... I am burping a lot. Jeez. Excuse me. But, uh... If you spam spawn the spiders, then that's how the skeletons spawn on top of them. It's a chance of that happening. But anyways, folks. Let's actually include today's fight. I don't know why I had this bow on me. I had absolutely no arrows the whole time. But we actually lost today's fight. Unfortunate. But it did happen. Um, I guess you can comment down below what kind of trades you'd like to see for, uh... Our man Steve over there from now on. Look at him communing through uh, Scarlet's cage. They're like, hey, what brings you here? So that's great. Alex has a friend now. But guys, 
Unfortunately, we weren't able to beat the, the guy, but that's okay. Um, hit that like button, share, support those, subscribe if you are new. I'll see you guys tomorrow for this another Pixelmon video. Remember, guys, I said there would be a little bit of a giveaway in that video, so definitely check that out. And I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.